how to add the moon to your photography. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Ramy. I am a French photographer from the crazy, the amazing cities of Paris, France, living in the USA, and I love to shoot the cities. I've published seven coffee table books. I work with lots of galleries, and in this video, I want to give you a really cool moon that you can put into your photo. Now, a little warning, if you want to put the moon in your photo, and if you want it to be a big moon, make sure you take a photo that you shot with a long lens. This is a photo of the Empire State Building that I shot at 134 millimeter. Honestly, I think I'm gonna crop that photo a lot because by cropping in the photo and really going on the Empire State Building, it's gonna be like if I shot it at 300 millimeter. So we want something like this. The moon that we're gonna be using, I think was shot at 300 millimeter. Uh, that's the moon I'm going to give you. You have the link under this video. You also can get my Photoshop, the easy way book shipped to your home if you want to. All the information is under this video. So first I want to give it like a more blue hour because I really want the moon to stand out. So I'm just going to open the shadow a little bit so we can see what's going on here in New York a little bit. Yeah. And then bring down the highlights. And I want to make this photo a lot more blue, like a blue hour. Because that was actually the end of the golden hour, the end of sunset, I think I shot this. See, I'm going to make it a lot more blue and a lot more magenta and we're going to change the sky to really make uh, but I want to add a little blue hour sky which you'll find the link of the sky also under this video and make sure you follow along you get the moon you get the sky so you can recreate this at home okay something like that so again this is Photoshop for Lightroom users so now we're going to go to Photoshop so what we're going to do is we're going to right click and actually you can what you can do I'll, I'll give you a little treat you can click on the moon that I'm giving you and click on on this photo and click Edit and open as layers in Photoshop. And from Lightroom, that's going to take the New York photo and the moon photo and open it in one Photoshop file. Isn't that crazy? It is amazing. It is incredible. You never thought it was possible. So the moon is here. I'm going to make it invisible for now. And don't worry if the crop is kind of weird. If your Photoshop doesn't look like mine, that is totally fine. Make sure you just have the layers. So the layers, you just go to Windows layers and the reason why the crop is a little weird is because the moon was a portrait photo uh, sorry it was a landscape photo and 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 this one was a, a portrait photo so it's it created a space for both but we'll we'll tackle that no problem in fact let's tackle that right now I can put the moon uh, let's put the moon into the soft into the screen mode screen mode makes anything that is black transparent and then let's go to edit and free transform that way we can move the moon over here. Okay, that's perfect. That's exactly how I want it. Uh, I don't want it to be bigger because, you know, you don't want to have a huge moon, but that moon is already big enough. So for now, I'm going to make this invisible and I'm just going to take the crop tool here and uh, make sure I'm going to clear the crop tool here and I'm going to crop this photo how I want it. So I want that. I want this whole New York thing and I don't want all of that nonsense. Yeah. Oops, no, not that, that. Okay, that's what we want, press enter. Okay, so here's our photo, the moon is ready to go here. But first, let's change the sky to really make the moon st uh, stand out. And we need to, we're gonna have to mask the moon and everything. So first thing is, let's go to edit, sky replacement, and I'm gonna give you a really cool sky that I shot in Florida, which is this guy here. It's a very blue hour sky. It was it's a sky that I could have had at that time. It, it would have matched because it was it was just that there was no high clouds that morning. But if there was high clouds, it would have looked like that. That's why it matches really well. So we just press OK. That's good. And then let's put the moon. And now remember the moon here. Uh, this is a screen mode. Okay. So screen mode makes anything black become transparent, which is kind of what we want. Now. I want the moon to go behind the Empire State Building, but Photoshop did all the heavy lifting here with this mask. This mask is for the sky. So if I drag and drag this mask here, we should be good. So how do you do that? You hold on the Option key and you click and drag here. And now, boom, it used the mask that we created earlier and it puts the moon behind the Empire State Building. And then you can even make the mood a little more transparent, just slightly so that it's a little more real like that. And then you can play around with, uh, I want to make that sky a little more crazy. So uh, I'll show you a little trick. I mean, I really like my background. It matches the sky. It's really well done. But I want to make my sky more contrasty. So you can click on the sky and you can go here and add a curve layer. And here is your curve layer. Now, if I do anything to the curve like this or this, it's going to affect everything. I only want it to affect the sky. 
So how do you do that? Well, you just press on this little guy here. And by the way, guys, make sure you subscribe to this channel. This is a new channel called Lightroom and Photoshop Show, but this is a new series called Photoshop for Lightroom users. I'm gonna to try to make like 10, 15 videos about a whole bunch of cool Photoshop trick if you're like me and you are a Lightroom user. So make sure you subscribe. Uh, the last episode was on adding rain. The next one is gonna be how to erase anything using generated field, but do it in a really cool and fast way. And voila, so make sure you subscribe, make sure you download that moon and you put it in all your photos and impress the world. So now that I've done this with the curve tool, if I go here, I'm just gonna make that sky a bit darker and maybe by doing like an S curve, I'm adding a lot of contrast to that sky, maybe not that much, but check, the, check it out. Without the curve, with the curve, huge, it really makes the, the mood stand out. And voila, we got a really cool photo. And now what you can do is go to File, Close, and save it. And because this was sent from Lightroom into Photoshop, it's gonna come back. By the way, I also have a really cool book coming out called Photoshop the Easy Way. You can actually get a printed copy shipped to your home for free just by shipping and handling. Everything is on zero. Plus, you get two weeks of me coaching you if you're interested to get a feedback on your photography. Everything is explained under this video. So we're back here. Oh, by the way, this was another version that I did, a little warmer, which is kind of cool. And boom, that's the final version. And you can do what we call a double development. You can take it back in Lightroom. Maybe I'm going to open a shadow, make it, I think it's make it a bit brighter, the overall photo a bit brighter, I'll do some black, you know, whatever. I can take out a little bit of uh, saturation, something like that. And check this out the moon and the empire state building make sure you like and subscribe it really helps if you like this video and you subscribe to it thank you very much i'll see you in the next one